Here we're going to look at how we create our first quiz in Microsoft Forms. So again, I'm in Office 365 to start with. I go over to my Forms icon, click on that, and it will bring up my Forms pages. Now, the good news is that the same interface is the same interface on the iPad as it is on the PC, which makes life much easier in terms of uh, learning how to do this and actually creating our forms. Uh, just be aware that there are two different types of form that you can create. One is called a form, one is called a quiz. The quiz is the one that allows you to grade your um, questions and to get information about how well students have done in terms of grading and numbers and scores. If you do a form, you obviously can ask lots of questions, but you don't get information in terms of um, number of marks they've scored or points they've scored. So just bear that in mind. We are going to create quiz. So we're going to go to new quiz and click on that. Straight away, you can see that we're given an option to uh, give it a title. So the first thing actually is that if you, wherever you hover over something and make it, you can see that it goes gray there. That means it's active. So we're gonna click on uh, Untitled Quiz there. Just delete that and then put your name of your quiz in there. And if you need to or want to, you can put a description in as well. So once you're ready, that's done. So you've given it the title, you've given it a little bit of a description. And you can see over here on the right, you've got the option to insert an image. Let's look at what happens there if we do that. So you click on that. And then because it's a Microsoft product, it's got a Bing there, which is equivalent to Google search. So what you can do is search the image here. So let's see what happens. I've got no idea what's going to bring up here, but if I put exciting in, let's see what it brings up. Okay, great. That's quite fun. That's quite fun. So I just click on any one of these that I'm happy with. You can scroll down, etc., and find them. I'm quite happy with that one. And then you can see it went add. So you just click add there and that will add the image. Um, if I want to get rid of that and go again, I'm going to show you something else. You've got image search with Bing. You can also create or search with OneDrive. So you go to your OneDrive and you can search through all your folders, etc., as you would do ordinarily and then just select the one that you want and you can also upload directly from the computer so you've got lots of images on your computer you can find the one that you want so that's quite useful i'm going to go back to image search i quite like that one let's put that in and that's